Hello, it's Michelle and Yazid again from the Escape Room B&B. Today is a momentous day because we got our very first cauldron. They were actually calling it like a flower pot holder, but it's definitely a cauldron. That thing was heavy, like a one inch thick uh, iron cauldron. They drilled a hole in it, so I don't think it's a functioning cauldron anymore, or at least they're covering up. So we're gonna get back to our place and unload it and then hopefully decorate it for Halloween. And I have to drive very carefully because the support for the cauldron is too big for our trunk. So the door is open and I do not want a 70 pound cauldron just like jumping out and rolling around the highway. But she got loose a little bit and uh, we almost lost our cauldron, but I think we're good. And we're taking the back road so we don't upset the cauldron. Oh, the church doesn't mind. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Not as bad as carrying a safe, but it will keep you in shape. We got the cauldron here and now it's time to get it ready for Halloween. So there's a hole in the bottom, so we can't put water in it. So what I'm gonna do is do the spray foam and light method to make it look like there's stuff in the cauldron bubbling over. The town we're in doesn't have a lot of stores, so I had to get creative. These are smaller LED lights. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to work. Normally with this method you'd use really bright LEDs or Christmas lights. For this you use spray foam. You're going to put the lights down and then you'll spray foam over it and let it dry. So I'm not going to be super precise because lifting this cauldron is super hard to lift. So I'm just going to guesstimate and go a little bigger than I think it is and then I can cut it out because this foam cuts pretty easily with an X-Acto knife or utility knife. So here it goes. Yeah. I hope you find this mesmerizing like I do. <laughs> it's really fun to do, and I'm glad I'm giving the whole can. That's it. I have my whole mound, and I think I've almost used everything. I try to do some little swirly bobs so it doesn't just look like rounds of poop everywhere. <laughs> we will see. I am painting it with a really, really light green, just so that it has some color, but not I'm not doing too thick a paint because if I go too thick, you won't be able to see the light when it lights up. The foam fit almost perfectly. I had to cut off the sides a little bit because I kind of eyeballed it, um, but it fits. And at night, I'll turn the lights on so it glows. This is the whole cauldron with the cauldron stand that we bought. And we added some trees to the side to give it some height. So now we're ready for Halloween. <laughs> 